Hello all, welcome back to Trinity Software. In this video, let's see how to make a simple paint app using Python. We'll use TK Inter module for event handling. So we should know what is an event. Event can be a key or button press or mouse operation by the user. So this TK Inter app is actually waiting for events to happen. So we can work with the predefined events of TK Inter whenever we need to handle events. So let's start writing the code. Initially, we need to import everything from TK Inter. Start. Then, I am going to import one more module from TK Inter called Color Chooser. So, this Color Chooser is used to display a native Color Chooser dialog. Next, we can start creating the root window. Root window is created. Then, set the title for root paint application then we will set the width and height the geometry details the width is displayed in terms of pixels then height of the window then mention the horizontal and vertical position where the window should be placed so the horizontal position is 270 and the vertical position is 0 okay next we need to initialize certain variables so we are going to develop a paint application so obviously we need to initialize a brush color i am initializing it to black color so I have this variable brush color black now brush type for our application i am just going to have three types of brushes brush type declaring this as a string variable it means that it can hold only a string the default value will be empty string you can make use of the set method to set the default value so brush type dot set method and i am setting it to round there are the totally three types i am initializing it around here okay and also you can make use of the get method to retrieve the value of this variable so we have initialized everything now let's create the canvas widget okay so i have named it as my canvas so canvas widget it is placed inside the root window and the width and height should be less than the root window and the background color is set as white okay and i have used pack method to pack it at the bottom of the window so we have created the canvas widget now let's see the mechanism to deal with events actually we need to create a function to get the mouse movements because we will be painting in the application obviously we need to get the mouse movement so the mouse movement can be obtained with uh, four coordinates x1 y1 x2 y2 coordinates and then we need to display that in the canvas here let me define the function the function name is paint it takes an argument event e now we need to mention the start position and the end position so start position is the x and y mouse position in pixels at the time of the event so start position x1 comma y1 even dot x minus 1 and even dot y minus 1 similarly end position x2 comma y2 this is e dot x and e dot y itself now we need to get the brush type we should allow the user to choose the brush type and get the brush types value which are uh, selected by the user and i will store it in a variable called brush so brush equal to brush type dot get method i will define a menu to get the brush type from the user okay and now we need to create a line in our canvas widget so our canvas which we have created was my canvas so my canvas create underscore line method the first arguments are starting position and end position so x1 comma y1 comma x2 comma y2 okay then fill fill is the option where we should mention the color through which it should be filled so we will select brush color then we have to mention the width the width is actually the lines width default is one pixel i have given as 10 here and finally we have cap style cap style specifies the shape of the ends of the line so i will use it for specifying the brush type so the brush type we have obtained in the variable called brush so cap style is brush we have created the paint function now 
the next step is we need to bind the function to the event for any widget it's possible to bind a function to an event using widget dot bind method so in this case the widget name is my canvas dot bind method it takes two arguments the first argument is the event and the second argument is the function name here i'm going to use b1 motion event this specifies the left mouse button so b1 f1 motion and the second argument should be the method name. So the method uh, to be called is the paint method. So this specifies the left mouse button. For middle and right, we can go for B2 motion and B3 motion respectively. So if this particular defined event occurs in this widget, then the paint function will be called with the event object. Next, we need to give some buttons to specify what are the actions you can perform. Like you can change the brush color, change the brush type, erase a particular thing or you can clear the whole screen. Okay, in order to specify the options to the user, I am going to create a label frame. So, this is the label frame which I have created. The label frame name is tools. So, that can be created with this syntax label frame. First argument is in the root window. Then the label frame name can be represented with text equal to paint tools. And I have done some customization with font uh, type, size and style. Okay. And then I have packed it at the top of the root. So, inside this label frame, now I am going to place all the four buttons. The first button for changing the brush color. So, to change the brush color button, I have set a button with the text, font and call a method called change brush color. We will be writing the code for this method now. Okay. And it is placed at this position. Then to change the brush type, created a label. The label is created inside that label frame itself with the text to brush type. And then I have created an option menu. So the users will be shown three options for the brush type, round but projecting. So user can select any one of this brush type and then they can paint in the application. Fine. Then we need uh, two more buttons, one for erasing and other for clear screen. This is for erase button. For erase button, we are calling a function called erase. It is not a defined. I will define it soon. So this is placed at this location and clear screen button. Another method called clear underscore screen method. That should be defined. Okay. Finally, we should just call root dot main loop. Okay. Now we need to define three functions. Change brush color, erase and clear screen. Okay. Let's write the function change brush underscore color. By default, the brush color will be black. In case if you want to change the brush color, you can go for this option. So for displaying the color chooser dialog box, I have uh, imported color chooser module. From that model, we are going to make use of ask color function. As soon as that function is called, it makes the color chooser dialog box pop up. I will make this brush color as global so that it can be used outside this function. And brush color is retrieved by calling the method color chooser dot ask color and it takes an argument the color is the brush color actually the ask color method will return a tuple that contains two values i'm selecting the second value here the first value is the rgb representation of the selected color and second is the hexadecimal representation of the selected color so we have chosen the hexadecimal representation that's it Next, we need to write the function for erase option. Logic is simple. Change the brush color as the background color of the canvas. So, we have already set the background color of the canvas to be white here. So, if I change the brush color to white, it's just going to erase that particular part. So, I'll set it as global brush color. And the brush color is set to white. That's it. And finally, if you want to clear everything in the screen, you can call this clear underscore screen function. We can make use of the delete method by specifying all as an argument. My canvas dot delete, it takes all as an argument. So by specifying all, we can delete and clear all the contents of the canvas. Okay, that's it. Let's run this. So we got this paint app at this location. So the default brush type is round. 
uh, width I have mentioned as 10 so you can draw anything you can write anything and I can change the brush color okay and also uh, brush type there are three types by default it was round I change to but so you can see the difference in the brush type and projecting a uh, little more different okay, you can use eraser means whatever you want to erase the contents alone can be erased and if you press clear screen the whole screen is cleared that's it about a simple paint application using python thanks for watching if you like this video kindly share and subscribe